What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a great Thursday so far. It's currently Wednesday afternoon, about 3.30 in the afternoon. Today's video is going to be a recap on this month's profits, expenses, and just everything about my Airbnb. So this is the third official month. Um, it's not quite the end of the month yet, but I actually have a guest staying through the end of the month. So this is 95% chance this is gonna be my pay out my expenses and then obviously my profits and then clearly my occupancy is locked in for this month. So without further ado, let's get into it. A few things that I want to note, I am starting to see an overall slowdown in bookings significantly. A lot of it is because I have the majority of my weekends booked out all the way for the next three, almost four months. And obviously the weekends are a much busier time. And then also going into the summer months in Arizona, I always talk about it, it slows down significantly. Not only does it slow down, but my average daily rate is starting to drop as well, which I've noticed. Um, so I'm still trying to learn the ideal average daily rate to the point where I have the occupancy that I want, that I need, but also not making it so ridiculously cheap that I'm barely profiting with a 95% occupancy, which I notice it's a little bit, um, this is the first time I actually like really looked at May. May's looking really, really slow, even though the occupancy is pretty high. Just my average daily rate, like I said, is continuing to drop as we get closer to the summer months. So here we go. February was the first full month that I listed my Airbnb. My total payout was 96.79 from Airbnb themselves. And that month I profited $5,024 with a 68% occupancy rate. Um, I thought this was incorrect. So I actually went back and manually counted on Airbnb's calendar and it was 68%. The reason why my profit was so high this month is because you guys can see my average daily rate for February was extremely high. I had by far, like there's some nights in February that people were booking my place for almost $600 a night. And now looking back at May, June, July, and August, I pretty much am at a base rate for those months at $249 for the night. So realistically, it was almost like for every one night someone booked in February, it was like booking two and a half nights in May, June, July, and August which is why my occupancy was low, but my profits were high. This is something that maybe I'm gonna look into next year in the winter times to like really push my rates up to the 500 plus range and really see if I can capitalize on a higher payout. Because with a 68% occupancy, um, I can still get a little bit more bookings, but I also think it was 68% because I launched it like I didn't give people enough time Pretty much everyone that booked in February was last minute bookings because I listed it so recently um, that it did like the people that were searching one, two, three months out just didn't even get a chance to look at my listing because it was so fresh. So the people that booked in March and April had at least a month, the two months to really like look at where they're vacationing, look at different places, and they had a timeline in place where February wasn't like that. So that goes to show I think having a higher daily rate in the winter months here, I can even push it even more and still get pretty high occupancy. So I'm really excited to see what winter brings next year. I really think I can bring this payout maybe twelve to fourteen thousand dollars, which would put my um, profit margins up to the six to eight thousand dollar range. And then obviously, when we go into the summer months, I kind of expect honestly for me to make one thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month with some of these property or with um, some of these months. So uh, now what we want to talk about here is April because this is all new to you guys. I haven't talked about April yet. We had a total payout from Airbnb, $7,600 right here, which is much lower than the last two months. Like I said, still had a really high occupancy, but just my average daily rate continued to drop. I do have a third party application that does a lot of my rates for me, but I still created a base rate of $249. This specific app wanted me to drop it to like 190, I think, a night. And I was like, at that point, it's like, I'd rather just have it vacant almost. Uh, my monthly bills were $1,943. The reason why it's a little bit different here is because 
uh, my pool cleaning service went up once again because of gas prices and they said inflation in general was causing chemical or pool chemicals to be even more expensive. $129 in just miscellaneous expenses. I think I had to refill some propane tanks this month. I had to replenish paper towels and I had to replenish um, the coffee as well. So those were all the expenses for $129. I think I also had to get some more hand soap or something like that. Um, cleaning fees, $1,240. One thing I want to get better at is I'm actually paying my cleaners more than what Airbnb guests are paying me. My actual cleaning payout from the guests that were booking my place was $1,050 this month, which means I was paying my cleaners $190 out of my profit. Now, I want to equal that up a little bit. The thing is, is my specific cleaners, I pay them a little bit more on Sundays because it's typically their day off. It's something that I have to work out because I'm still in the negative. If anything, I should be break even like what? But Airbnb guests pay me should directly go over to what I pay my cleaning ladies. So I need to figure that out with them because I should not be at a negative for this. I did raise my cleaning rate, by the way. It was at $170 a month and I raised it to $180 a month and it doesn't seem to have changed any bookings. So I may raise it a little bit higher or I may talk to my cleaning lady and drop her rate down a little bit for Sundays. Because um, during the weekdays, it's actually I'm making a little bit of money, but then on Sundays, I'm paying, I'm just gonna be full of disclosure here, I'm paying $220 every Sunday whenever the Sunday needs cleaning, whenever there's a, a turnover on a Sunday, it's $220. The rest of the days of the week, it's $160 I pay them. Um, water and trash is $66 this month, making my total expenses, by the way, electric bill, uh, did drop a little bit. My pool heater no longer requires as much electric or as much power because it's getting hotter throughout the day, meaning my pool temperature stays at where it needs to be a lot easier. But at the same time, my AC bill is going a little bit higher because it's getting extremely hot. So I don't expect to see a big drop in my electric bill. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be anywhere from 225 to 325 year round. Um, water and trash is probably gonna stay pretty much 60 to $75 a month. Making my total expenses this month, $3,630. Making my total profit this month, just under four grand at $3,967 with 93% occupancy. My average daily rate was between $181 and $285. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the video for April. A couple of notes I wanna make, May, as of right now, if I don't get any more bookings in May, I think I'm projected to make like $1,200. So a part of me was, I blame myself a month, two months ago when I first launched this. I think my average daily rate, I dropped it too low too fast and I got pretty much 80 something percent occupancy at a, a really, really low average daily rate. So no, like it just, I'm, I'm only making like, my payout from Airbnb this month or May is projected to be about five grand, which in order for me to like really make money, I need it to be at least like at least five grand is pretty much my bottom line. Because if I'm under five grand a month from Airbnb payouts, uh, most likely I would have a would have a better chance just renting this as a long term rental where I'm not paying Wi Fi, I'm not paying Hulu, I'm not paying the water, the electricity bill, any of that. So yes, I would not make nearly. I would probably rent this place out for maybe $2,500 a month, but I wouldn't have any of those miscellaneous expenses either. So some things that I'm doing to tighten up my budget, my monthly expenses, um, I am terminating the wine subscription that I've had just because um, going into the summer months, it is gonna be a lot tighter for me to break profit margins. So I'm trying to tighten up wherever I can. Uh, the first thing to go was my $100 a month wine subscription. So that'll save my bottom line a little bit right there. I also have some things like the pool cleaner, which I unfortunately just can't get rid of. It's 140 a month now. And I could go bi-weekly and maybe negotiate a deal out with that, but it, then it comes down to the, the, the quality of my property and the um, guest experience at my property. I don't wanna in any way affect that. So um, that and the landscapers, I can't see a way of tightening up that budget any, so I just dropped $100 a month out of my budget. So I'm now at $1,843 a month for this property. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously the cleaning fees and all that, I. I I can't really change anything there. So 
Um, June's looking a little bit better than May. I'm already at $5,500 uh, payout in May, so that's looking to be about a $17 to $2,000 profit there. And uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit more bookings. But yeah, May's looking tight. Going into the summer months are looking pretty tight as well. But at the end of the day, like in Airbnb in Arizona, your money maker is going to be January, February, March, and April. And then sometimes in like the October, November, December as well will be pretty good profit makers. But those summer months are pretty much just breaking even to get to those profit making months of maybe I'll do a thousand or two thousand dollars a month in the summertime. Obviously, as I'm more seasoned, I will understand my Airbnb a little bit more and hopefully be able to utilize that knowledge a little bit more and have a better profit turnaround on those summer months. But right now, um, I'm still happy with it. There's definitely things every single month I'm learning more and more and more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know you guys enjoy these Airbnb update videos. I hope this was able to help you guys out. I am off to California tomorrow to go look at one of the properties we just bought in Lake Arrowhead. Don't think I'm gonna turn that one into an Airbnb, but uh, we're probably just gonna end up renovating that and putting it on the market a little bit later. Drop a like, be sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. I post on my stories every single day, so follow me on there, follow me on TikTok as well, and be sure to drop a like.